I love Dorsey as a human being. He's just, he's one of the good ones. He's been in this room with me for a very long time. I feel like I owe him a lot of the success that I've had in my career, and he's been a huge part of that. So it's sad to see him go. And the fact is, you know, we, we play better as a team. We probably don't have to make a move like that. He was a big part of what we've been doing here in the last few years. Um, you know, I talked with Coach McDermott, and I understand the thought process of, of why we're doing it. It's unfortunate, but at the same time, we've got a game against a division rival on Sunday, and you know we still have time to, to turn this thing around. we got to rally around each other right now. We have to come together as a team, um, and offensively, we've got to play better football. The fact that we're 5-5 five and five and our back's against the wall. You know, the clock's ticking on on what we can do this season and it starts this Sunday to to try to turn this thing around. You know, it's no secret in terms of how many wins you probably need to get to the playoffs and you know, we don't got much much more wiggle room. So, we understand that, but again, we can't focus on the next week or the week after that or inevitably we can't focus on the end of the season. We got to focus on the here and now and that's that's Sunday against a, a team that's already beat us once this season, a team that, you know, offensively we, we didn't play very well. I didn't play very well. So, again, we're we're looking forward to get out there and and playing Buffalo Bills football, the football that we know we can play. Um and I got a lot of faith in the guys in this room. I got a lot of faith in uh Joe. I got a lot of faith in myself. So, we got to go out there and put together our best ball. It hurts. It hurts a lot to to see someone you care about go through a situation like that. To know that, you know, if, if I could have done more, if this offense could have done more, we wouldn't have had to do something like that. So, um, again, it's an unfortunate series of events that have led up to it. And, but, again, like, as much as you can sit here and feel sorry for yourself and you can sulk on what's going on, we got a game to prepare for, and it's four days away. So we can't pay too much attention to it. we got to focus on, on what we can control, and that's our attitude and efforts every time we step on this field and practice and walkthroughs and meetings and make sure that we're we're going to be prepared to go come Sunday. i, I got to be better. Uh, we got to be better as an offense. Turnover wise, it's it's abysmal when we lose. Um, there, there's no secret to that. So there's not a whole lot. Like it's not like it's broken. We're not we're not a broken offense. We're not a broken team. But the splits that compared to when we win and, and when we lose are massive. And again, that's that's on my shoulders. And we got to be better. I got to be better. It's, it's how you get back up from being knocked down. And I think that this this locker room, there's been plenty of being knocked down. And uh, we've we felt that, but again, helping each other back up and, and pushing each other and making sure we're holding each other accountable for for what's been going on and and how we can be better moving forward. And I think you know it takes a lot to look at yourself in the mirror and say, what can I do that's that's been good, and what can I do to fix what's been bad.